So what you can also do is you can go around and create out custom filters inside of Microsoft Project and add in more filters, more than one filter at once to have multiple conditions applied for filtering as well. So for that, you can see that I have a bunch of tasks right here. And if I want to make out a custom filter, you can go around over here onto the filter section and click on new fil filter to uh, choose everything entirely from scratch. Or what you can also do is you can go around onto more filters right here and choose, uh, let's say, a particular filter that you want to uh, 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 add in as a, ma a main filter. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and filter with late tasks. So you can just go around and copy. And now you can see that the field name status is equals to late right here, just like this. So this is the first filter that it is there. You can go around and rename out the filter to, let's say, for example, custom tutor tube, uh, tutor tube filter right here, just like this. And then on top of that, you can go around and add in another filter as well. So let's say, for example, you want to go around and then um, uh, work around with uh, active filters right here. So you want to see active tasks right here. So over here in the test, you can go around and say equals or greater than or equals and so forth or contains right here. And in the value, you can go around and select the value that you want to apply. So both of these filters will be applied over here in custom to tube filter. So if I were to go around and click on save, it says the this type of test does not apply to the field that you select right here. So you need to go around over here and say equals right here because I chose contains right there. So if I were to click on save, now you can see that it says custom tutor tube filter. So if I were to apply this, now all the active, um, um, uh, all the active tasks show up and uh, all the, uh, all the uh, uh, tasks that I have right here for this particular filter right here shows up right here. You can go around onto more filter and you can see that you can go around and edit this to see and add in more filters as you like as well. So these are the ones that are active um, uh, that are active but late as well at the same time. And that is how you can create out custom filters and even add in sub filters inside of the custom filters inside of Microsoft Project. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>